Hello guys, and welcome back into Project Castaway. So we just had another update after the one yesterday, and hopefully that fixed the issues we have had with the heating aspect of the game. So uh, yesterday we couldn't really get warm, even though we were sitting by the fire. As soon as we left the fireplace, we would start freezing to death and you would suffer a cold, horrible death. But let's hope it's been fixed. So we are back in here to test to see how it's been going. Uh, let's see if we can get this to work. There we are. Just want to make a spear. And for those of you who know games like Stranded, uh, Stranded Deep, uh, Sunken Land and all that, it's pretty much the same, but this game feels lighter somehow. And I kind of like how active they are in terms of um, making updates and keeping us updated on what's going to happen and what's going on. So yeah, it's been a pretty decent experience so far, and uh, I hope they can keep it up this way. So, we are basically stranded here on this little island, and we have another island over here. Or well, this isn't even a small island, it's pretty big, to be honest. And yeah, our job is to survive and uh, make ends meet. But yeah, as in any other type of game of this genre, we have to pick up materials so we can actually craft stuff and uh, get some food, including. We've got a little crab going here, but I'm going to wait with killing him because I want what's in this box. Bandage and uh, energy bar. So in the previous tries, I've come to like st staying over this end here between the two outcrops of the island because it seems like a nice place. It looks very pleasing to the eye as well. So we're just going to stick here again. Oh look, a new addition. Jumping sticks. <laughs> so yeah. This is our... Oh yeah, little tip here. When you're looking at the book, try and have the sun behind you because the light is dynamic. So as you can see, the book was quite dark when you are facing against the sun. Uh, but let's make some tools here. We can want the stone axe. Uh, but we need the rope, so we gotta find some yucca, and we need to make a stone knife to make that life easy for us. So, and if I show you here, this is our bag. We have one, two, and three slots, which means you can actually only carry three tools at a time. And that means, of course, leaving some behind, but right now we only have two, so it's not an issue. And then we have two compartments here. One for, yeah, whatever. It, it, there's no specific uh, use for these compartments, so yeah. But try to, you know, maintain or organize your belongings so you don't... Uh, so you have room for the stuff you find along the way. Uh, but we want to find the yucca plant, and uh, I think there's one here. Yeah. So it seems pretty static right now where the uh, stuff grows. And that's just fine because it is beta. As you can see there... We got some yuga leaves, and the need for those will become apparent when we set up a camp here. So the way this works is that you are using placeholders. This is our little journal where we have all the recipes for the stuff we need. We can make bandages, we can make a raft already, uh, but it does require a few materials that we have to go out and find on the island. Uh, there's some components here, you can make a sail, you can even make an engine. And then we have a utility table that can disassemble stuff. We have a spinning wheel for making rope and we have the water collector. Both of these are pretty much needed right from the get-go. As well as the campfire to make us able to cook. And of course, since we are working down here in the left corner with sanity and energy, the bed is also highly regarded, as well as the shelter to keep us self warm. Oh yeah, and there's such a thing as a weather system, which means that if you light a fire out in the open, it will be uh, turned off or put out by rain. So this is also a good reason to make a shelter. So let's just put in the placeholders and we can kind of see what we're doing. Let's put this here. And then we might want to put a bed already as well. And you know, you don't have to have the mats right now. You can kind of make this as your layout. And then you can begin to figure out what you need to finish these structures. But it's, it's kind of nice to have a general idea of what you're going to build here. So we're going to put this somewhat in here because it also keeps us warm when we're sleeping. Like that. And then we want the spinning wheel. 
And as far as I know, for the moment, uh, these items here don't get destroyed by weather, so we can just set it up here. And this is probably the one I want to make first, because that's going to make the rope we need for the axe. So we got the metal sheet. Let me just pick that up. Put that in. And small sticks. This is in any other game, you get those from trees, but you can also, you know, work these big uh, palm trees down, divide them uh, further down into large sticks, and then the large sticks into small sticks. So that's another way of doing it. Or you can get these trees here, which are then large sticks, as you can see. And then we can cut these up to small sticks. So, and small sticks, of course, are also located around the uh, island. I actually think we had some, didn't we? Yeah. We only need two now. If you look at the top here, there's a hammer symbol or axe symbol. This actually shows how much life or durability there's left on the uh, stick here before it cracks. And this is true for any uh, tree or plant. So yeah, you see then it only needed one more. Now we've got the spinning wheel here, we can make the rope. And it's pretty self-explanatory, so you don't have to... I mean, it's very intuitive, you can get into it really fast. So that's it. And just making all the ukuleles here. Unfortunately, we can't uh, queue up items yet, which would have been really convenient. But I'm guessing they are going to add that eventually on the road. And I think that's it. We don't have any more to put in here. We can just use this now to... Yeah, make the fire. Let's put that in here. And then we can make the axe, because now we got the rope. Stone axe. But we need sticks. Of course, I just spent it, didn't I? But they're relatively easy, easy to find, so it's no problem. Gonna get one more here. And once we've made the axe, I can give you a little tip that one of the viewers actually uh, gave me on my first live stream on this game. Let's see, wasn't that enough? I think it is. Oh, it is. There we go. So let's just take it to the back. See, all the slots are now occupied, which means we can't have any more tools uh, bring them with us. The purpose of the axe, it works both plants and works palm trees and small trees and all that. But um, my viewer here suggested that, you know, purely use the axe for the big palm trees and then use the knife for the anything else. Because the knife is so easy to make, it doesn't require rope, it only costs one stick and one sharp stone. Whereas the axe uh, consumes rope, which means you need to get yukon stuff. So, and as you, if you look down in the bottom right corner, you can see the stone axe has currently 100% durability. If I hit one time, we lose 1%. So you can calculate that's going to take 100 hits, then it's going to break. We cannot repair, which means you have to build a new axe. So to kind of, uh, you know, keep the axe going as long as possible, don't spend on these guys, just use your knife. Well, we can just fell this one now because we do need the locks there we go. and yes it's true you can also make huts actually the building system in this game is uh, pretty good uh, it's also very intuitive and very the snapping works in a very good way um, but it also requires additional materials so yeah that's something to consider, because at the moment here we are just aiming to get up and running as fast as possible, so we can fend ourselves during wind and weather and hunger and thirst and all that. Oh, need to put those in the uh, tent here, or shelter is the correct term. And here we switch to knife. And if you notice now on the left side it says I'm hungry. And it's true, because if you look at the meter down at the left corner, I am pretty low. So what options do we have? Well, we haven't built a fire yet, so we can't cook any meat. And meat has durability as well, it will rot. Uh, they did put on uh, three times as much time now as previously. So that helps a bit, but in the beginning here, we are left with coconuts. So let's see, it's all three in fact. The good part about coconuts is that it replenishes both uh, thirst and hunger at the same time. Well, at some point, you know, meat becomes more essential because it really does do a better job at keeping you uh, not hungry. 
or satiated or whatever you want to <laughs> call the word. Let's get the fire built up then, because then we can at least have somewhere to cook meat if we do find and need some. Okay, uh, let's see. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky, oh, it's because we're going for the... Uh... So as you can see, I have three builds now, so it's confusing a bit, so you just need to stand the right place to find that sweet spot where it actually targets the right um, building or construction project. We just need three more rocks for the fire. And now it requires small sticks, and those are thankfully, you know, fairly easy to find. Let's hope I'm right. Um, that's one. And we just scour the place here. And then eventually we will work our way around the island to the other side of it as well. I know there are some barrels and crates and stuff that we can get some useful items from. Uh, but right now let's just uh, deplete the area here. To make life easy for us. Because running, as you can see, does take a toll on both energy and hunger and thirst. So no need to go running far until we have settled uh, indecently. Okay, just take this and carry it over. And drop that down there. And let's see, do we have anything we can kind of keep ourselves going with? It's mainly hunger that's an issue, right? So another way you can get, if you can't find any coconuts lying around, you can basically just cut a palm tree down. And then you will get at least one coconut. And see, when it lands like this inside the vegetation, it can be a bit tricky to find them. This was 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 this one wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, sometimes it can. You just have to walk around a little bit and try to locate the coconut. Let's get these fronds as well because they will be useful for the, the shelter. Then we can finish that. Just need two more of those, but let's get the barrel first. So barrels like this are located in various places and they can contain a various uh, amount of items, cloth, rope, in this case it's three pieces of cloth which is fine because we need that for bandages so that's useful and uh, the sail as well for, uh, for the raft. Whoops, I didn't want to pick up the rock, I wanted sticks. Well let's uh, take the opportunity then to take this here and just put it here. And then we can, I can show you how it works. If you pay attention to the top again, you can see it's kind of going down in durability, the, the log, or life, or whatever you want to call it. And then it breaks into large sticks. We're just good, but we need small sticks, so we're going to take one of these and just break that up even further. Put one more head. And I probably should have used a knife for this part, but yeah. I guess we'll, we'll live, with it, live with it. And two more. There we go, we have a fire. Then we can take the large sticks and use that for the, uh, the tent or the shelter. And we actually need, as you can see, it's a little bit of a glitch here. The graphics continuously getting smaller as you kind of move back and forth or build and keep building stuff. So yeah, they're probably going to fix that at some point. I have reported that and I guess other people has, have as well. So hopefully that will be fixed. But if you're in doubt, you can always go into the um, journal and get a general idea of what is needed to make the, uh, the shelter. So as you can see, we're still missing a few sticks and we're still missing some fronds. Uh, let's just go and grab one of the trees here and save the axe a little bit. Actually, it still says it needs sticks, so but we also need fronds, so we can just cut this down. So that's it for the fronds, now just sticks. And as, as you can see, we're getting quite both uh, tired. We're hungry and our sanity is almost halfway down, so that's why the vision is kind of blurring out. There we go, shield complete. Now we just need a bed. But I'm thinking 
Maybe we should try and see if we can get some food. Because the energy bar, uh, yeah, it will take a bit of hunger away. I guess we could use that first. Oh, no, let's use the obvious one, the coconut. And I guess, yeah, yeah let's see the, the uh, energy bar. There we go. So, Mr. Crab here would like to elect himself to being part of the dinner company tonight. And we just hold E, then we get meat from him. So, this raw meat will actually uh, rot in time, so you might as well, you know, use it right away. And to start a fire, you have to continuously press F. And actually fast. go and then the meat takes care of itself you can see there's a timer showing how much it's not long 10 seconds or so don't leave it on because it will burn and then it won't uh, do anything for hunger so yeah don't wander off like i just did there <laughs> might as well just stick he's already ready and we're we're gonna eat it right now actually then we're probably gonna get close to full health i think oh full hunger So why is it still blurring the vision, you ask? Well, that's because of sanity. And the only way really you can recover sanity is by sleeping. But, which is quite annoying because we're only like midday. You can check the time by going to the bed. Um, oh, we didn't finish it yet, so we actually need to finish that now. We need large sticks, 10 of those, or eight, and some fronts. Let's put these in. And then let's use this for large sticks time, this time. And you really want to get the bed situation, the shelter situation down as a priority. Don't go wandering too much and get caught with uh, bad stats, because you will die. Uh, yeah, this is a survival game, you know, so... And then a few fronts, we can get those easily. Okay, back to base with these. So, we have a bed. Now the bed is useful for two things. Uh, sleeping, of course, or three things, many things. Sleeping, and then you, you can also check the time of day, and you can save. And yeah, we're gonna save here now and just replace this bad save here. And get up. And you can actually control how long you sleep. So you can see here we got a 1 to 12 hours. And there is such a thing as sleeping too much. So, you know, time your sleep um, in a sensible way so you don't get uh, you don't have to run around in the dark because you can't sleep okay next point the water collector and that's actually very fortunate this guy usually run, runs around on the other side of the island and this makes life easier for us because we need his shell to make the collector and we don't want to run that far if we can avoid it I'm just gonna work to get him killed. He's surprisingly good at evading. Oh, and now we also have the Komodo dragon. Same time. And he can actually, you know, respect this guy because he will kill you. Wow, that's unfortunate. I guess we need to kill this dragon first, actually. Otherwise, we're not gonna get to the turtle. Come on, die. Yeah, you can see, uh, uh, eventually they do get scared, even the predators. And that's why you just gotta pick up the uh, chase. And let's get this one. He can't be far off now. There we go. Holy. And we got the shell. Um, and one of the weapons we can actually, you know, that's very useful for these animals here is the bow and arrow. They seem to kill the animals a bit faster, so be sure to make that when you are ready for it. 
But for now, we're gonna put down the water collector. It doesn't matter really where you, you know, just wherever you want. And then place this one here. So that, that's ready. Now we need uh, banana leaves and we need sticks. Banana leaves are not these. These are fronds, so we will go find some banana leaves. Yeah, right here. Oh, we still need some. And the thing is, I do have a bandage, but this one doesn't heal. This one only prevents rashes and infections. So to get this to work properly, you actually need to combine it with palm front pieces. And you get those by, let's just show that now, by breaking this up. You see we got a piece here. And then if you have one piece of palm front and one bandage, you can make this palm front bandage. And this will heal us. So pick that up. And let's use that right away. So that gave us almost full health, which is fine. Now we can at least uh, not worry about getting killed instantly by something. Oh, this was just decoration. There we go. Oh yeah, and another thing. I actually forgot to pick those up. Uh, banana trees, of course, yield bananas. So uh, they will drop to the ground and can also be a bit tricky to spot if you didn't know or didn't pay attention. Um, let's see, now I'm carrying banana leaves, so it can be a bit hard to see anything. Let's just put these in and drop these. But the second banana tree here, I did, oh, I did pick them up. So these are actually quite good to reduce hunger as well. And then let's just check what we need for the collector. It is large sticks we need eight of and rope. So, oh, and this one we can eventually use also as sunscreen combined with a coconut. I might as well just grab this since we just came across it. But let's find some big sticks or cut a palm tree. Oh, we take this one. Yeah, I guess we'll go for logs then and cut those up. Oh, we do have one here, maybe. Let's uh, put these sticks down here. Yeah. And the water collector is also one of the very important pieces to build as soon as possible, uh, because you will get thirsty. And in case you don't want to or can't for some reason cut down palm trees to get coconuts, well, it's just nice to have a nice water resource in the water collector. Let's put those here, then we're gonna cut this up. We are getting very tired, or insane in fact. So at some point you might want to take a little nap just to be able to keep going throughout the day. Let's see, was it large sticks? I think it was, wasn't it? So there we go, water collector, and it will eventually fill up. It, of course it doesn't have anything now, but it will visually show you water inside the shell when it's ready. Um, do we have what we need right now? Yeah, I guess we do. So what else can we make? Well, we also have the building hammer or stone hammer, which will enable us to build uh, structures like um, a hut, uh, both out of wood and metal. Then we have, we can make arrows and we have the bow here, which might be the next object, interesting object. Uh, apart from, of course, the raft, because we're going to need that. I did try and swim over here, but there are two sharks out here, and they will kill you in two or three bites, roughly. Probably three. Uh, yeah, so it's a bit of a, a dutchy trip. So I, I should just raft. Uh, there are some items over here we can go pick up, and there are some other items over here, like barrels and over. On the other side of this island, there's also uh, crates and barrels, so yeah. But as it says, sanity is dangerously low. So I'm, even though it's midday, let's just, whoops, let's sleep for three hours maybe, just to recover some of that. As you can see, it's going up. We really want it over halfway at least. Maybe just a few hours more. Just to recover a little bit there. Wake up, get up. And important notice, uh, you can actually die from hunger and thirst in your sleep. So make sure that if you're really low on food and thirst, 
don't expect it to go up by sleeping. You will actually uh, possibly die from it. So make sure to eat before you go to sleep, if you need to. And of course you can also make torches. Whoops. Just before we go. Let's see how the rotten meat is doing. It's still raw. This is rotten now, because we didn't do anything with it. Whoops. And that you might as well throw away, because we don't have any meat for it. But the other meat, let's go and uh, pair that now. So it doesn't go spoiled. Again, just place the meat on these spots here. Turn on the fire. And then start turning the stick. Okay, do we have any more meat than that? No, we do have a coconut. Let's uh, actually eat that. To get some first up. This is Komodo skin. I guess we can just dump that here because we don't need it right now. And it, it won't go away, so we can safely do that. Uh, I would suggest bringing stone shards if you don't find any rocks along the way. There we go. Oh, and we're gonna have a storm now, as you can see the weather is... Whoa! He came sneaking from what direction? And he can actually kill you in two bites, I think I recall. So be careful with him. These are located uh, on islands, um, both cheetahs and komodos. And he was very quiet, wasn't he? But see, he gets scared too as well when he's about to die. So just chase him down. He will make convenient runs, so you actually can catch up with him. Um, but yeah, you have to put a little bit, little bit of effort into it. And you can also use the axe. But yeah, the bow and arrow would actually be more useful here. There we go. And as you can see now, it's starting to rain. This will fill up our water collector, but also it will make us cold. So we are gonna start up this fire here. And we might as well, might as well, might as well, might as well prepare this meat. I'm gonna eat one here. And that's gonna bring up the hunger meter quite a lot. Let's see. Finished, finished, and finished. And let's again. Wow, it went out so fast. Let's try again. It shouldn't be going out because we are inside the tent, but maybe it's not far enough in. So. Problem is, I can't really move it. Oh, yeah, as you can see, they are implementing. Um, skills so you actually get better at the stuff that you can do which is quite nice seven minutes left six minutes left five minutes left okay time runs fast in this game you can add sticks let's do that that will increase the time that it burns 14 hours that's good and let's check what time it is it's six o'clock let's try and sleep for 12 hours then we wake up uh, in the morning and you can see the hunger meter is going down as well as the first meter, while the sanity and energy meter went up. So we're going to get up now because it's not good to be that hungry. It's still raining. Oh, look at this. Let's drink. So we got full first from that one. Let's just stay in here a little bit while we can. And we're going to eat meat. Oh, we got some rotten meat. All of it is rotten. Wow, that was fast. It rotted right throughout the night. Let's eat banana then. Eat one more. So yeah, do whatever you want with the rotten meat. I usually just make a sort of a trash pile out here. So I don't start chasing it or picking it up. Like that. Good. So the last thing I want to take you through is actually going on the other side of the island here and well some of the way. No, you know what? Let's go to the other side because there are some barrels and crates we can destroy. And on the way back we're gonna pick up some barrels for the raft. So you can see here two barrels. There are also three items out here that you can destroy and get stuff from. But I would again suggest waiting until you get the raft built. 
because of the sharks, so. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, yeah, we ran out of stamina for running, so. Just gonna cool down a bit. There's another turtle, so we could make another collector uh, by killing this guy. But I wanted this one. Oh, we got rope. That's nice. Then we don't have to trouble ourselves with making that with Yuka. And we got some tires as well. So there are two here and the two more on the island over here. Which makes four. So that's enough for two raft pieces. We got some metal plates here. I can just stack these somewhere. So it will be nice and easy for us to get at some point. Let's use the boat as a base for that. Toss that here. Let's see. Let's grab this. Oh, that's a coconut as well. Arrows, three arrows. That's three items always good, right? So we can just pull through here and get out on the other side with the barrels now, roughly. Get pretty close. And the thing is, you can only carry one barrel at a time. And one piece of raft and needs two barrels to float. So in order to make the big, nice raft where you um, both have a manual sail and a, an engine, would actually require at least four, if not six barrels. Um, because you can't fit the raft together. So if one piece has tires and one has, has barrels, those won't uh, stick together, unfortunately. So again, kind of a uh, Managing your resources in a clever way is a good thing to keep in mind. But we're just gonna dump this here for now. Cool. And it will stay there. And last thing before we go is I want to see because eventually, uh, sometimes um, stuff will float into the island or yeah, drift into the island. And one of those items is an engine, uh, which will come in here but it has not arrived yet probably day three or something like that but yeah then you can go here and pick it up and um, i haven't figured out how to disassemble it yet because we can make the disassembly table but i guess i'll work on that and uh, i can present that and in another video unless you are gonna try yourself of course we got a lot of stuff running here and then yeah get over here and get around the island and pick up stuff you know start making a, a little warehouse of items here then that you can manage uh, so we have it within reach to make more stuff uh, and remember this is a beta so it doesn't look as much yet but it, it, i think they've gotten pretty far uh, with the game and as you can see we're talking about achievements and hidden treasures that we can find uh, so yeah i think it, it looks nice and it feels nice it's it doesn't feel grindy the same way as some other games have. Uh, so that's a, that's a good thing. But yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.